We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva and I'm very pleased to be joined by Tony Poulos, who is market strategist for TM Forum. Tony, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's a pleasure, Max. I'd like to start off by asking a little bit about uh, TM Forum and also uh, about the fact that you're going to be at uh, the ITU Telecom Worlds 2013 uh, in Bangkok and you're going to be moderating there as well. So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about uh, where you're from and, and what you do and, uh, and also about your presence at Telecom World. Certainly. Well, the TM Forum is, a, is an industry body, worldwide industry body, uh, with about uh, oh, over a thousand members at the moment. Nearly all the major telcos in the world are members. And our role is uh, uh, primarily to provide the, the business process standards and the, the, the help telcos to operate more efficiently. That's our, our main goal. And our members all contribute to that process. We work together in collaboration and we come up with standards that most people use. So, And my role there is to uh, determine where the market is going and how uh, we as an organisation uh, meet the needs of our members. And you're going to be attending Telecom World 2013? I am. I've, I have a panel, uh, I'm moderating a panel there with some very, very good uh, panellists uh, involved, and we'll be talking about the digital world and the effect the digital uh, economy is having on the telcos and the telco industry as in general. Now, before we get to Telecom World, uh, I want to ask you a few questions, really, uh, just about the digital landscape at the moment, how it's going to be evolving over the coming years, and, and what does it mean for service provider IT? Well, the digital landscape, you know everything is, is going digital uh, and uh, anything that can go digital will be digital very shortly. Uh, enterprises uh, and uh, consumers are both uh, radically embracing the, the digital world. They want everything uh, immediately. They want to be connected all the time. We have uh, enterprises looking at their IT departments being uh, becoming part of the cloud or going out to the cloud, which we'll probably talk about in more detail later. But for the service providers, they're expected to provide all the network services and all the connectivity and, and I think that it's underestimated just what a critical role that is. So telcos all around the world both fixed line, broadband and mobile uh, are really working heavily towards improving their networks, making them more efficient, making them more agile and being able to provide that connectivity that everyone is going to depend on. And what strategies are major service providers pursuing in terms of centralization, virtualized services and, and cloud, obviously? Well, they're looking at centralizing, of course. Uh, they're, tr they're trying to get uh, their, uh, their main IT infrastructure centralized so they can control a broader spread of their network. So it's a, it's a catch-22. But when we talk about centralizing, we, we're probably talking more about things like um, SDN and NFE. You know, software-defined networks are coming in, uh, network function virtualization the cloud in general, they're expecting to be offering those services as well. So not only are they doing the connectivity part, they're looking at providing the infrastructure that others can host on and work with. So for them, it's a very radical change in process. And they are, they have inherited legacy systems over the years, and they're looking at improving those and coming up out of their, their past and, and providing this wonderful IP infrastructure that everyone will need in the digital world. I'd like to ask you, what are the key business models and digital services to watch? And what will these services demand from us? Well, I think cloud uh, services are going to be uh, very important um, and uh, we're seeing more and more people virtualizing their own networks, uh, uh, using services from other places and other providers. They don't want to maintain their IT in-house, so they're looking at, at spreading that load and making it more efficient, more, f more uh, economical in many cases as well. But for the telcos, they also have to take on that challenge. And this view of uh, the digital world, will they provide the digital services, things like connectivity for motor cars, uh, health, uh, we're talking about e-health as a major issue in many of the developing countries particularly. Um, uh, who will provide that? Will the telco want to do that themselves or will they partner with others? Now logically, the partnering model is the one that they will be going for and they are now changing the way they work and they have these multi multifaceted business models, whereas before they used to provide just voice and uh, messaging, now they're providing all these other services either on their own or in conjunction with partners. And that's a radical change in thinking and also a radical difference in the way they operate their own business and their networks. Finally, I'd like to ask you, where must the industry collaborate if, if, if it is to be part of an open and, and vibrant digital world? Well, at the moment, we're very concerned uh, uh, as an industry about over-the-top players, as they're called, uh, using our network services to provide networks or provide their own services to their own customers. And we're, we're feeling a little bit we're providing and investing more and more in the network infrastructure and maybe not benefiting from it. Our voice revenues are going down in the industry, but our data revenues are not going up an equivalent amount. So, so 
we're looking at working more closely with those over-the-top players, providing specific applications for the market and working with them. We have to do that. We can't be on our own. Otherwise, we could fall in the, in the, in the, the trap of becoming a utility and people just using our networks and, and, and we're not getting any of the value add from it. So telcos are changing their mentality and it's a radical change in thinking, but they are going digital and they're working much better these days than they were in the past. And it's one of the points we will be bringing up in our, in our panel in, uh, in Bangkok, I'm sure. Tony Pulitz, well, thank you very much for sharing that with us today and uh, very much look forward to catching up with you in Bangkok. You will. Thanks very much, Max.